Hi, this is Chris from the Disc Golf Puttheads, finishing up my series on the putter plastics I prefer. And today I'm going to talk about my approach putters. Uh, this is typically between 1 and 200 feet. Maybe I'll drop down a little bit, go up a little above 200. These two uh, right here are bergs. I throw almost exclusively bergs when I'm uh, approaching with a putter. I mentioned before that I prefer to drive with a little bit, a little bit harder plastic that has more glide, but I putt with a softer putter for the feel and so I get less bounces. When I'm approaching, I go right in the middle. Let's start with my K2 Berg. This one's this one's pretty squishy, flimsy. I uh, it's uh, it's pretty soft, but it's also premium plastic, so it holds its form pretty well. This one also, if I hit a tree, it pretty much flops right down. I don't get much bounce off the basket. It catches the chains very nicely. The Berg does not have much glide as mold uh, by itself, so I can go with a little bit more premium plastic, and it's fine because it's got so little glide that the plastic really doesn't add much glide to it. This one, I can't throw quite full power because it's uh, flimsy enough that it won't hold 100% torque, but I can I can throw it pretty pretty close, about 90 90% power, and that's that's about all I need for uh, for throwing one to 200. And I don't think I've ever had any problems with this uh, being inconsistent. This is one of the most consistent discs that I have, and it, the Berg is very stable. Uh, it typically goes straight with a decent solid fade to the left uh, at the end of the flight as it slows down. Next is my K3 Berg. The K3 Berg also doesn't have a lot of glide. It has a little bit more glide than the, uh, the K2 Berg, but in general, Bergs don't have much glide. Now the K3 Berg is a little bit less stable for me. I expect this, uh, the K3 plastic, which is uh, closer to a basic plastic. I expect that to break in and become even less stable over time. This one does have a little bit extra glide, a little bit more glide than the K2. That can be helpful because when I'm throwing an understable approach, I like a little bit extra glide to shape my shot, but the, uh, the plastic, basic plastic helps keep the glide from getting up too far. It's a little bit stiffer, a little bit more solid than the K2 plastic. Uh, but because it's a, a basic feeling plastic, it will still drop pretty quickly when it hits uh, when it hits trees or chains. I, I don't don't get any hard bounces. Soft enough that it, uh, it grips the chains pretty well. This is a little bit grippier than the uh, than the K2 plastic. It will hold a, about the same amount of torque. I can't quite throw it full power, but I can throw it pretty close. And the the stiffer plastic helps get a little bit extra torque. But again, on those approach shots, I don't typically need to throw full power, but I'm also throwing a little bit harder than if I'm just throwing a short putt. And that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Putthead signing out.